It, today, yesterday was a very, very sad day for Blu-ray and DVD. I don't live in Australia, okay, you know, but basically, Australia joins Asia except for Japan and Latin America where Disney will not be offering physical copies for the newer movies as well. The last movie for, you know, for Disney being released is Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. Of course, Disney is struggling, you know, with a lot of other things, okay? I think this is recent, I think physical media is the reason Disney's worries and the backlash from the, you know, people who still buy disc copies of games, okay? You know, I think this would be the least of the worries, considering that Disney has to, you know, just have to worry about the strikes, you know, movies flopping left and right, you know, big, you know, movies that they were hoping would be hits, bomb and lose money, okay, part the Disney parks being empty, Disney parks dying as well, and this is a very, very bad dude, I think this is really that's out of desperation, really, for Disney, okay, if you really think about it, okay, you know, this is a move out of desperation to try to squeeze as many people on Disney Plus as possible. It is of Aza to try and attempt to get people to subscribe to Disney Plus. It hasn't really worked out. Same thing with Latin America, okay? Disney is trying to squeeze every penny out of you possible, you know, to get, you know, you on Disney Plus. And Disney Plus as a service is dying, Okay. What what is the offer on Disney Plus? What is the offer on Disney Plus? And basically, what they say, oh, if you want to buy watch these old Disney shows, your only option, you know, these old Disney shows and movies, your only option is to buy Disney Plus because Disney and Disney is hoping like with the you know the end of the combo pack, the DVD Blu-ray combo pack, as well, because Disney was the first ones to push it because back in the day, Disney was a big company. This was a portal company, and all of Hollywood, you know, revealed them as this big company. But Disney is now a whimpering dog in a corner. Okay, you know, they're, they're, do, they're trying to do everything they can to save Disney Plus, and everybody sees this as that. Okay, Disney Plus is a failing streaming service. Okay, Disney also stopped selling Blu-ray to right America, you know, and as well, you know. They're trying to nudge customers into a monthly free service like Disney Plus instead of buying the occasional DVD and Blu-ray. And there hasn't really been a renaissance for Blu-ray and DVD. And of course, Disney is trying to tell people, oh, oh you know, oh, global details are selling Disney DVDs and Blu-rays will still be available in North America and Europe. So people in Australia will either have to import from the UK, Canada, or the USA. Okay. And with Blu-ray and DVD... So sometimes they have reason walking on the you know you would have people in Australia will have to get reason free now if they want to buy Disney movies they'll have to get the reason free and then pay an insane amount of price to watch Disney to watch Disney okay you know yeah 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 okay. And of course, many uh, people, Gen Z and Millennials, are not going to care about stuff like this. Because, of course, they don't care. Okay? But people will finally start to see, you know, I think people will finally start to see the limelight of streaming services. Okay? that The fact that you could, the, you know, take down shows and scrub them from existence. Making the only way to watch many shows, movies, and stuff... Only you know the only way you can do it is watch it illegally because there's no alternatives. There's no alternatives. For example, what to say that the Disney just takes down the Miss Marvel show, okay? Because nobody watches it. No, no, no one because no one watches it that so anyways. Okay, because Disney did not release it on physical media, so the only way to get Miss Marvel is to buy an illegal bootleg of the car of the boot of the show on Blu-ray, okay? Which is still illegal because it's not made because it's not officially made by Disney. Okay, or you have to pilot it or watch it on TV because for some reason they're putting it on TV now to promote the Marvels. But who knows how long that will last. So, basically you have no alternatives. You have no alternatives to watch that show if you really like that show that much. Okay. And people are still buying this when I keep selling them. Is it cool that absolutely of the podcast as well? Again, this is Disney we're talking about. Disney is going to cut whatever cost they can because Disney is losing money. They're losing money on the cruise line. They're losing money in the parks. They're losing money everywhere. Okay? They're losing money everywhere. Okay? They're losing money at Disney+. Plus. They're losing money on feeder releases. Okay? 
Disney is a company that very likely in the next year will go bankrupt. And we forced to sell all the IPs. Kind of like how, you know, Marvel and DC had, no, kind of like how Marvel had during the 2000s. Okay, they're going to be forced to sell Fox, they're going to be forced to sell Star Wars, they're going to be forced to sell Marvel, and probably Pixar as well, you know, to other studios as well. And the end, okay, you know, yeah, okay, I, mean, I rock at the death throes of physical media viral results in the end of reason restrictions, okay. Yeah, okay. Disney is losing money everywhere they go. Everywhere they go, Disney is losing money. Everywhere they go, Disney is losing money. Disney is a company that will probably go bankrupt in the next year. Okay. And Disney is cutting costs everywhere. No one else is cutting costs, only Disney is. Okay. If people are still buying it, that's why they not keep selling it. It's going to be called Absolute Market Favor. There's some quote cards. They'll probably not find out having a streaming site. I already have a DVD now and then. I could care less if I got rid of all my physical media if years ago, but people want them, don't quit making them. Okay. Yeah. And Blu rays are pretty expensive. DVDs are pretty expensive compared to streaming. They yeah. are. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And Disney is doing whatever they can to cut costs. Okay. Before the report, the industry thought there was the only part was positive I had to. In the early reports, it will be ugly. So Disney is a, is a basically a whimpering dog in the corner at this point. And they're, think, they're hoping that everyone else will copy them and, and physical media, but that's not how it's going to work. We're still going to have, you know, you know, boutique labels publishing physical copies. Everyone else will, probably, will still be publishing. It's only Disney that isn't doing it anymore. It's only Disney. Okay. Only Walt Disney Corporation that's doing this. And it's just so funny that Disney is going to continue losing money. No matter what they do. No matter what they do. Because Disney is a company that deserves to fall. Okay. They had a complete monopoly. It's, it's, see, whenever, you know, whenever something, you know, Disney has too much power in the box office. They had too much power in IPs and control over pop culture. And now, they're getting the deserved downfall. They're getting the deserved downfall. And that's it about this video here. Goodbye.